previously on Game of Thrones. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. I suppose the Crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you. And your house. Father. I'm going to kill you. Is that so? I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. Who the fuck is he? My uncle. Roderick? Roderick, by the gods, it is you. Sir? Fetch the maester, hurry! Fetch the maester! And the Lost Legion won't stop until you and your friend are dead. She's been gone a while. She'll come back. If they catch her, they'll kill her. They won't catch her. She's costing us time. It's just that we need to get to Marine. Every day we lose here is a day that Talia or Ryan could be hurt or, or, or worse. You must return home safely, Asher, and... Well, you... You have a history of putting your faith in women who may not deserve it. Yeah, I know. Was it then? The Lost Legion? Aye. Too many for us to take. I counted about two dozen, maybe more, as well as horses. About half a mile down the canyon, and coming fast. Had to run my ass off to avoid getting caught. <laughs> it's nearly empty. You two care if I finish it off? It might be a while before we find more water. Malcolm, what do you think? We should conserve what we have for when we really need it. Good, because right now I really need it. Right. We need to get moving.
She's been gone a while. She'll come back. If they catch her, they'll kill her. They won't catch her. She's costing us time. It's just that we need to get to Marine. Every day we lose here is a day that Talia or Ryan could be hurt, or, or, or worse. You must return home safely, Asher, and... Well, you, you have a history of putting your faith in women who may not deserve it. She's my friend, Uncle. She's been at my side for a long time. Was it them? The Lost Legion? Aye. Too many for us to take. I counted about two dozen, maybe more, as well as horses. About half a mile down the canyon, and coming fast. Had to run my ass off to avoid getting caught. <laughs> it's nearly empty. You two care if I finish it off? It might be a while before we find more water. Nah. Drink up. Thanks. Right. We need to get moving. <sighs> the Lost Legion. We're a hundred miles from Yunkai. When are they going to give up? Never. There's still war about Tazal. Yes, well, perhaps you shouldn't have snapped his neck. There is such a thing as overdoing. Eh, maybe you're right. Remember, he hunted us all the way to Yunkai for revenge. <laughs> with a man like that, better to kill him than be done with it. It appears that we're not done with it. It's only a matter of time before they overtake us. Ah, bugger a harpy. Can we double back? Not without meeting our mates from Yunkai. We're well and truly fucked this time, Asha. During severe winters, when the Skahazadan floods, it carves out great underground rivers in the sandstone. And? And when those waters recede, those rivers become caves. And those caves might hide us, if we can find them. I mean, we're trapped for the moment, but all I'm saying is we, we needn't die here, just standing our ground. If he's right about this, I may actually stab him. We can't stay here, waiting for your butchered friends to corner us. Agreed. What do you think? Could we climb out of here? Pretty steep, Asha. And we'd be totally exposed if your friends arrived before we reached the top. Not gonna happen. It's too unstable. Do you think we could dig our way through? Or we'll try to scramble over? I don't know. Either will be slow and tricky. One wrong move and the whole thing could collapse on us. Like we're not alone. No obvious wounds. Maybe he died of thirst. Listen. That's water. I hear water. From underground. There might be a cave nearby.
Look at this. Gold. Fat lot of good it did him. I think I see a light in there. A way through. Oh, we couldn't be that lucky. Oh, shit. It's them. Ponte Freedom! Kessirinzi! Shit! Come on! Let's go, go! They're behind us! Damn it! Sasha! Find us another way out of here! Got it! What in seven hells is that smell? I can't even guess what this used to be. There's a light! Go! See if there's a way through. We'll hold them off!
Listen up, you sorry lot. Gather round. We're handing out assignments today. Garrett, you hear that? I'll be a ranger before nightfall. Maybe I'll let you clean my boots. <laughs> Are you still sore about the business with the knife? Don't be. I know it was that potato fucker Cotter. And I'll thank you for not letting him get away with it. Nice to know there's at least one person here I can trust. Just remember, nothing's free at Castle Black. You best keep that in mind yourself, Garrett. Never know when Jon Snow is going to call in a favor. Someone to warm his bed at night. <laughs> Just messing with you, Garrett. I know I owe you one. Just say when. Aren't you two looking all cozy? Careful there, Finn. You get caught fucking pigs. And Garrett there, he'll snitch you out. You can't trust that one. One minute he's your friend, the next he's planting the dagger in your back. You can't just go around robbing your brothers, Cotter. Brothers? I don't see any of those round here. Just backstabbing criminals who sell their own mothers out. You'll always be an asshole, Garrett. Wish I'd never met you. I will never call you my brother, Cotter. And who'd want you to? Bloody hell, Cotter. Stop buggering Garrett. If there's a score to be settled, it's with me. Now, it doesn't matter what the world once called you. After today, you're all brothers. Could even be that the man standing next to you saves your life one day. Let's find out then, shall we? Casper to the builders. Finn to the rangers. Lobor to the stewards. Hugh to the rangers. Cotter to the builders. And finally, Garrett to the Rangers. That's it. May all the gods preserve you. We're Rangers, Garrett! There's gonna be a lot more dead wildings from here on. Should you northern boys want your gods to give a blessing to this union, there's a weirwood tree beyond the wall. Now form up and follow my lead. Garrett, it's good to hear you'll be a ranger. Thank you. I know you wanted this. I'm ready to say my vows. I didn't have many friends when I first arrived at Castle Black. Grin and Pip, they'd as soon have seen me bloodied in the yard than offer a hand. Now, I'd die for either of them. Our brothers are all we have. Cotter, you shouldn't be here, Garrett. I can't believe they made you a ranger. What was Frostfinger thinking? You can't be trusted. No telling what you might do. Like it or not, we're brothers now. Means we're gonna have to get along. Huh. How? You're a backstabbing traitor. You're no brother. Because you've got Jon Snow pulling strings for you. Cotter, I swear. I wish I had that. A friend in the watch. Someone who knows their way around. Knows the thieves from the rapists. Being alone at Castle Black. Well, that just means I'll die early. What's the matter? You scared? Me? I'm I'm fine. No worries here. Hey. What? On this home. People I can trust. Feels like everyone's out to get me. Every man out for his own self. Yeah. There's plenty of the wrong sort here. But I'm not one of them. Well, you certainly don't look like an evil fella. An easy mark, maybe. Nip a few coin off you when you aren't looking. <laughs> Do you miss being away from your family? 
Home cooked meals. I lost my father and my sister not long ago. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I know how that feels. Well, just know that you're not alone here. I guess that's why I got so mad about the knife, Gary. I figured I'd lost a friend. That you'd never watch my back. I'd be alone under Frostfinger's boot the whole time. You watch out for me. I'll watch out for you. Deal. I'm sorry about the knife, Gary. And all that trouble I caused for you with Frostfinger. I appreciate you not giving up on me. You handled that well, Garrett. They say the old gods watch us through the weirwoods. More than watch us. They know us. The gods are not forgiving. We brothers have to be. We're here. After this, there's no going back. Now go. Take your vows. In the eyes of the old gods, the Night's Watch offers you a place beside us. Now say the words for all to hear and embrace us as your own. Hear my, my words, and bear witness, witness to my vow. Night gathers, and, and now my watch, watch begins. begins. It shall not end it until shall not my end death. Until until my death. death. I, shall take no wife, I shall take no wife, hold no lands, hold no lands father, no children. father no children. I shall wear no crowns, and win no, no crowns, glory. And win no glory. I shall live and die at my post. I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher on the walls. I am the shield that guards the realms of men. I pledge my life and honor to the Night's Watch for this night and all the nights to come. You knelt as boys. Rise now as men of the Night's Watch. Welcome to your new family, Garrett. Watch now. Means we get to piss off the wall whenever we want. Didn't know you needed an excuse to play with yourself, Finn. Garrett, you've got a visitor. Over there. Well, who is it? Do I look like your fucking squire? Don't forget the practice shorts. Uncle Duncan! Garrett! It's good to see you. They told me you were at the Weirwood Tree. Wasn't sure you'd be back in time. I never expected to see you here. Did something happen? A business with the Night's Watch. A delivery of Ironwood shields to keep you all out of harm's way. That settles it then? Right, the delivery looks in order. The gods do grant miracles. You look well, nephew. I'm told you're a ranger now. That's good. Uncle? Things aren't going well at Ironrath, Garrett. I know. I heard the news about Ethan. 
I was standing not five feet from him when Ramsay struck. It's a nightmare that plagues my dreams. But House Forrester is nothing if not resilient. I should have been there protecting Ethan. What good am I at the wall? That's why I'm really here. Do you recall Lord Forrester's last words to you? Just before he died, Gregor's final command spoken to you in confidence. It's been a blur since I came to Castle Black. Remind me, Uncle. He told you the North Grove must never be lost. Of course. Do you know something? I've been reading his journals, scouring the legends for any clue what Lord Forrester knew. I think I've found the answer. He describes a fortification, a protected citadel of sorts, hidden from the world, one filled with great power. It was scattered among his notes, almost an obsession, a vital secret he protected at all costs. I know it's a lot to take in. But Lord Forrester's notes leave no doubt it's real. He speaks of it as if he'd seen it himself. Somewhere north of the wall. And you must find it, Garrett. The search won't be easy. But you're a tuttle. Our Lord knew you wouldn't fail him. As do I. It's a daunting challenge, to be sure. But not an impossible one. How am I supposed to find it? The first chance you get to head north, take it. And then? You leave the Night's Watch behind, and strike out on your own. This is no small request I make. I know that. I agree, Uncle. But how? A brave answer, Garrett. This will help guide you. I found it hidden in Lord Forrester's strongbox. What is that? A page from our Lord's journal. But one he tore out and kept separate. Why? I don't know. It's a map. To the North Grove. Aye. Hear the werewoods whisper. I used to be frightened of werewood trees. But before I was a man grown. I swear, I actually could hear him whispering sometimes. This looks familiar. What is it, Garrett? Talia gave me this. Before I left. Oh. Wait. Lord Forrester gave Ethan a similar one as well. Roderick too. I wonder... Bloody ice dragon. Gods be good. Now that I would love to see. A mammoth. <laughs> this map's only missing grumpkins and snarks. But this can't be real, Uncle. You said it was a citadel of some kind. Could this be it? No. No, it couldn't be that easy. It's hidden here somewhere. Look. There's a clasp. It must open. I had no idea this was inside. Another werewood. But why? Maybe it's a key. to solve in the map. A perfect fit. Maybe it's telling us where to look on the map. Hmm. 
Now that doesn't look right. Maybe try another. Oh, it's the whole map that has to turn. mouth, Uncle. Whatever this place is, the North Grove must be near. There's only one way to find out. Here, take this map. Everything we hold dear may well depend on your success. It's a lot to put on your shoulders. You can tell everyone back at Ironrath that Garrett Tuttle has taken up the cause. Your sense of honor is a quality I've long admired, Garrett. Gods watch over you. You're the son I never had. Let's go, Garrett! I don't know. Probably like little, little shards or something. Wait, so like a weapon? Well, your piss is like any other liquid, I reckon. Well, that was rather mysterious. A stranger arrives and you're chatting him up. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? 
Looked like you two had a lot to talk about. Must have been important to come to Castle Black. It's a family matter. I'd just as soon keep it private. So it's secret, then? It looked like it gave you something. It, it was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. Already keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? Ah, uh, Garrett's right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at High Garden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. Sarah, it will be Marjorie's day, not ours. I... I know. I... I didn't mean anything by it. I've been meaning to say... what I told you about my... family. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. If handmaidens don't help each other in King's Landing, nobody will. Thank you, Mira. And you know I'll always help you, too. Hold on, look. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice it for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Please. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Sarah? Marjorie's so busy. I can't just wait for her to find a match for me. Please, just don't tell Marjorie. What are you doing here? Surprised to see me, eh? Because the way you left me, you can't have thought you were going to see me again. How did you escape the guard? I got my hand on a rock. I hit him over and over. <gasps> I may not look like much, but I know how to survive. And he deserved what he got for what he tried to do to you. I'm here to warn you. I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about... Shh! They already know he's missing. Probably dead. They're questioning people. Searching for his body. It's not safe. They don't have any proof he's dead, do they? They found blood on the garden stones, by the fountain. But they can't know it's his. What? What is it? If we're gonna survive this, there can't be any details we've overlooked. I, I still have his knife. Oh, oh, no. Just keep it hidden. Meantime, just stay out of sight. How? Do you forget who I serve? Just don't get in any more trouble. And I'll... I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. Look, I, I appreciate all you've... But I never asked you to help me. You didn't have to. I'm a friend, Lady Mira. My name's Tom. We help each other. Or it's both our heads. Thank you, Tom. Don't thank me yet, Lady Mira. There's still a knife out there covered with a dead man's blood. And I don't... Mira! My lady. Really? A trick?
tryst in the bushes with that coal boy. Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing, you just don't want to spoil your chances of a good marriage. Can we just keep it between us? I'd prefer nobody knows. Of course. That's what friends do. Come on. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well, first of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about this festival they have. And I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamere? I trust you've chosen all the standards. But just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace. My Lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his King's Guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we- What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going your to Grace, speak out of turn, girl... I... You should finish what you start. Your Grace, we must do as Our Lady commands us. If Marjorie has need of us during the wedding, the then... The King's safety is more important than straightening your Lady's gown. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the King. She said she'd serve the King... Yet now she puts your needs first. I'm surprised you'd let such swings of loyalty go unchecked. In any case, it's settled. The King's Guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything. But I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaiden should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. What did she mean by that? You and Tyrion? What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. We only shed some wine, my lady. Drinking wine with Tyrion Lannister. Sarah, what do you know of this? Tyrion approached us, my lady. It was his idea, not Mira's. I don't care what your intentions were, Mira. You went to a Lannister behind my back. I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making trouble for me? It was just a cup of wine. Nothing more. I don't have the time or patience for your games, Mira. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. I promise I won't speak to him again. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. I'll need my sentinel. Go ahead, Talia, and have Duncan meet me in the courtyard. He's not back from the wall yet. Then make sure Royland's there. <laughs> 